So what is an x-ray? You've probably had an x-ray done at some point in your life. I wanted to make this video because generally speaking, people see x-rays as this mysterious radiation. Uh, so they're surprised when I tell them that x-rays are just light. And the only difference between the light that you see coming from your screen right now and an x-ray is just the energy that that light carries. Uh, to dive into this a little bit deeper, in classical physics, we know light to be an electromagnetic wave. Uh, from quantum mechanics, we know that the energy of this wave, so the energy of light, depends on the frequency of it. Uh, let's illustrate this a little bit better, so I'll draw a couple waves above, uh, representing sort of simplified light waves. But we know that all light moves the same speed in empty space, but these light waves can carry different, what we call wavelengths. This length is the difference between peaks in this wave, and you can see that in a certain point in space, as they travel, if you have a large wavelength, then peaks will go by this point in space uh, slower. So you get less peaks through a point over a period of time. That's what we would call a lower frequency. So for example, red visible light has a larger wave wavelength than blue light. Uh, so red light has a lower energy, blue light has a higher energy. Uh, now, if you continue to make this wavelength even smaller, then you can get x-rays, right? You would have to make this wavelength in the order of nanometers. So really tiny, but that means very high frequency, which means a very large energy. So x-rays have a lot of energy. That's how they're able to travel through your body to see your bones. We can capture them with special detectors, uh, but also because they do have a large energy, they can also damage your cells, which is why we have to be careful with them. And there are regulations uh, regarding x-rays uh, because it's good to stay safe in that regard. So I hope that helps clarify uh, what an x-ray is, and as always, thanks for watching.